Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Inside A Gamer, and today I want to bring you a new add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. This is Simbits World, a pilot's life. Now I'm very excited to bring this to the channel. I'm very lucky that the developers at Simbit World have sent me a key to share this with you guys, so I'd like to thank them very, very much. Um, now a little bit about this game uh, before we get into details. A pilot life is an application will generate and schedule track your flights and give you purpose to fly and provide a sense of continuity while you do this. Everything is based around your commercial pilot career and it will take you from the first steps of junior first officer employed at a local small company to a senior captain at a world renowned airline. In the beginning you will be offered a job and you will generate your schedules. As you progress you can complete the flights, you will earn virtual money and experience based on the flight time, a number of routes completed, after a while you will advance in the pilot rankings, receive offers and other airlines and most importantly we will have fun doing this. A couple of features for this add-on, there are more than 300 airlines included completed with real schedules and fleets, multi-hub environments and airlines that have them, multi-leg routes that will take you to places you never thought of flying, realistic salary based on ratings and current employer. Report pages and detailed analysis for your pilot career, job market with auto-generated offers, virtual shops, ability to purchase flight tickets if you're tired of working and you need to take a vacation, community page interacting with other users, personal photo albums, principal contracts, resumes and flight logs, live maps so you can track your flights with your friends' whereabouts, thin brief dispatch integration, auto-update mechanisms, uh, live support on the discords and continuously growing community and much more. Now what I plan to do in today's video is basically show you some of the interface. Uh, we won't do a flight in this one, but what we will do is plan the flight. So in the next episode, what I will do is get straight into the flight. Um, because with the jets, it takes quite a while to set them up. By going through all of this, you know, this video will go on for over an hour. So I'm sure none of you guys would like to watch that. Now basically, this is available on Sim Market. It has been out for around two years. It is available on P3D, X-Plane, as well as Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and Microsoft Flight Simulator Steam Edition. Uh, so... It has been out for a little while. It is currently priced at 20 euros on Sim Market. Now, I will leave a link in the description down below. Now, the developer has also told me that next week for their two-year anniversary, they will be doing a 30% discount. So, this will be the time to pick this up if you are interested. Also, I'm very lucky that the developers have sent me three keys to do a giveaway for you guys. So, as soon as this video has been posted on YouTube, there will be a special giveaway on my Discord channel. So, all you need to do is, uh, in the link down below, hit onto my Discord and apply for the key in the giveaway section. Um, it would be quite self-explanatory if any of you get confused, you know, just message me on the Discord and I will help you guys out. So we do have three games to give away, thanks to uh, Simbit World. And I'm quite excited to run this alongside my on-air as well. Like I said, a bit more to do with the Jets. I'm not doing a lot of stuff with the Jets and people have been moaning that I'm not flying enough with the Jets for them. So here we go. So just have a little look at the interface itself. So as you can see here, Simbit World's a pilot's life. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, we have a lot of uh, options up here flights current flights job markets reports shops and community there is us inside a gamer okay so it says here that we're currently unemployed and we need to look at job offers and that's the first thing we're going to do so i'm currently based in ireland um obviously being from ireland it makes the most sense and um, so what they've done they've given us a couple of airlines to get started with these are our job offers now unfortunately there's no way to reset these unless we literally start all over again um, so look, we've got Russ Line, Bulgarian Air, Swift Air, Travel Service, and Ryanair. Now, because I am from Ireland, I think Ryanair is the obvious choice here. Now, all the airlines in the game are here. So if you wanted to get any information on them, you could. So what we could do here is go down and find uh, Ryanair. So we could get rid of all this stuff and just keep European stuff. And uh, we can search. Or we can actually use the airline name. So if we put in Ryan. Air, Ryanair will pop up. It's a three-star rating. The hub is in Dublin International, which is fine. Uh, it has a fleet size of 445. Wow. And established in 1985. Now, we can get some more details on this. So before accepting a job, now we can see these are the kind of routes that they run. So this is what we're looking at here. We can find out that they mainly fly the 737-800s. Unfortunately, I don't have this on Microsoft Flight Simulator at the moment. I will get it. Um, so I will be using the A320, um, but that is fine as well, guys. So if even if you know you want to fly for an airline that doesn't have this, and use any other aircraft as well, as long as you put them on your list as you set up. Okay, so we can see from Dublin that we do have a couple of flights from Knock, uh, Shannon, Cork. Okay, so look, we we fly all over Europe. There's a lot going on here, so we're going to see a lot of Europe with Ryanair. So I'm quite happy with this. I think Ryanair is who I would fly with. Um, we're going to accept that offer. Okay, so once we've accepted that contract offer, 
now see here Ryanair addressed this is our contract so we can print this off some people might like to keep a record of all this stuff we have appointed me as a junior first officer um okay and basically we can every seven days we can change aircrafts uh, and employers so after seven days we'll get some more options people might want to give us promotions depending on our flight hours experience etc um look we can change that every kind of look it does tell you throughout the first seven calendar days the employee undertakes no except other job offers so look have to stay with them for seven days which is more than fine I'm probably going to stay with them for a while um, maybe we'll try and rank up with them i don't know i don't know if that is possible but yeah a lot of people might want to print that off okay as we look at the main page again then so we can see here this is our current contract these are all our conditions etc you could see our resume but obviously we haven't flown anything yet so we don't really have one we can see our past flights on a map which is cool we can print the logbook for all our flights some people like to do that our inventory um, which i'm going to show you is to do with the shop when we buy stuff um, it gives us extra rewards etc so we will look at this and a photo album uh, but currently we don't have any photos put in here yet okay so next thing would be to do is look at flights so once you have chosen your aircraft carrier who you're going to be working for uh, you now need to create a schedule now you can put here from any of their hubs um, so look we have the main hub which is Dublin uh, we could go to Faro, Madrid, Barcelona. So I could start in any of these places, but you know what? I'm going to start in Dublin from being from Ireland. What I'm going to do is I'm only going to click short hauls because I'm going to be streaming uh, slash recording videos. So obviously I don't want to be doing a five hour video cutting it all out just for the landing and takeoff. So I'm going to keep short haul and I'm going to generate a schedule. Okay, so our first flight here, going from Dublin to Birmingham, Birmingham back to Dublin, Dublin then to Rochelle, back to Dublin, Nantes, Edinburgh. Okay, so look, I actually quite like this. Prague, Brussels, Liverpool. Okay, so look, there is quite a nice selection of flights here. I'm going to accept this. Um, but if we wanted to, we could regenerate until you found something that you actually really liked. Um, so what we will do is just accept that schedule. And our first flight, which will be on the next episode, will be Birmingham International. That's where we're going to be going to. So from Dublin to Birmingham. Um, okay, so look, we can skip flights. So if there was a flight you didn't want to do, we can, we can skip them. Or we can start the next flight so if we start the next flight bring you into the next page which is current flight as you can see here dublin to Bowman, very short flight up and down really really fast really cool great for videos um, and there's a lot of things here that we will see now so now it's going to give us our call sign which we can put into the flight simulator which is cool uh, obviously i'll be flying an a320 going from dublin to egbb which is Birmingham international now once the simulator was loaded up it would say connected and all we would then do is start flight. Now we could do a sim brief dispatch, um, which would give us the SIDS and stars. But what I'm going to do is do that manually through the flight simulator because Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 at the moment is a little bit iffy with the Mac do's and stuff. So I will put in a flight plan on that, this as is. All that now will do is then once we start flight is track us from leaving here and arriving here. So it'll just count how long we've been in the air and stuff. Our speeds our altitudes and stuff you know we can get all that information from this page which is pretty cool and uh, that's how we're going to start our flights now if we go into the job market which is self-explanatory after the seven days we should get some other airline offers or we may see some other jobs up here that we can try and apply for of course um, but you can do it either way if you see something up here that you like you may be able to apply for the job you might get it you might not or you might be offered some jobs but that's how we're going to get our promotions and stuff. But I say we're going to stay with Ryanair for quite a few flights. Next uh, option we have is reports. Obviously, we don't have any reports, but we can generate our reports and print them off through our flights and we see how well we did. The next option we have here is shop. Now, in the shop, either we can buy different things, flight bags, currencies, houses, uh, appearance. Now, that all makes a difference. So, as you can see here, if we have a mobile phone, we're going to get a 10% XP in flights. And of course, then if we say have small apartments, we're going to get an extra 2,500 a month. You know, the prices are huge here. So look, this is the kind of stuff we're going to aim for. And obviously, was well that we just have our appearances, which is kind of nice little ad here. Um, so yeah, so we're going to look at all of this stuff a little bit more deeper as we play along. Next tab is the community one. Now on this one, we can see anyone in the community. If any of you guys are playing, I'll be able to find you, send you friend requests. You can send me friend requests inside a gamer as me. Um, you can find out what we're up to, how we're flying. We can see how many flights have been made. Top Airlines is Lufthansa. Top Airline by Pilots is EasyJet, apparently. Um, and there's currently 108 flights going on at the moment. 
Now, there's a couple of other things here. We can see the Discord server, the airline leaderboards, which is quite cool, an operations overview. The other feature I like here is the live map. If I just bring up the live map, you can see here, these are all the planes that are currently in progress. These are all the flights that people are using the sim. So if I was flying, you guys would be able to come find me. Uh, but basically, we can click on anybody. Uh, he is going from EGAA to e uh, LEPA. Nice little flight down there. Going to Mallorca. Lovely. Um, so yeah, we can track all our friends. We can see what's in the air. We can see what's going on. Wow, he is going for a long one. He is he flying. Panzer. Aircraft A333. So he might be using X-Plane. This runs on multiple and cross platforms. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. I like that we can see what the other is doing. Where's this one going? Uh, okay, so he's a captain. Taking Virgin Atlantic A333. And now he's going to London. Cool. There we go, guys. So that, that's that kind of feature that I really, really like. So coming back to the dashboard then. So here you go. Here's a little insight to the game. It's a very short video. Um, like I said, I didn't want to do a flight on top of this because the jets take a little while to get going. Um, and the 32NX, unfortunately, on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, a little bit broken since the new update. So I'm just waiting for them to patch that as well, uh, make the flying a lot better than using default. Um, so the next episode, we will take our first flight from Dublin to Birmingham. So if any of you guys are enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications, upload nearly every day. Please let me know in the comments, is this something that you want me to run alongside my on-air? Is this something that you guys are really interested in? Also, like I said, there is a giveaway on the Discord, so come join the Discord. If you would like to be involved in the giveaway, I have three keys to give away. Also, don't forget, if any of you else are interested in this from next week for the two-year anniversary, it will be minus 30% of the normal price of €20 Euros on Sim Market. Uh, I will leave a link for that in the description down below, like I said before. Other than that for myself, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.